in this video I'm going to show you my theory in changing the CPU fan this is the one I bought but apparently they don't have the one in stock which is this size this one is the broken CPU fan as you can see it already has broken uh, fins there and then this one is the new one my problem is it doesn't fit so if I use the stock so it fits there but it doesn't work it, it doesn't spin anymore but the one I bought recently is just too big so my plan is to have the edges be cut so it will fit So now back at the house and so this is the one uh, originally and then this is the replacement fan so it's just gonna sit about here there so now it fits well of course it doesn't fit I have the size be cut out so there is no screw mount
be like that. It's not gonna be good. It's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like this. It's going above the motherboard by a little bit. Why is that? Because there's a screw part here and it's still quite big. It doesn't sit firmly. So it has to be elevated by a bit. is okay with the board okay we'll try it like this yes. and that's how put some thermal paste So I'll be using MX4 thermal control by Arctic. So I'll just try it with a small amount. there hopefully it's not too many but I think it should cover at least this uh, the silver part then I'm just gonna wipe off the excess By the way, if you want to know if the laptop is going to power on without the heat sink, no, it's not going to power on. It's going to look like that. Okay, so this one kind of fits here. But it doesn't fit on the right side. So that's my problem. Okay, this time I'm, I'm elevating the fan above the above the board. to close it at the moment so it's above the board on this side but the bottom part is below so it's kind of sticking like that I think I could have asked him to cut more of the, the fan if I knew this was gonna happen Try fitting it first here on the right. Oh. Okay, yeah, it, it fits now. 
then there's a small budge there. Okay, I'll just try to zoom in. So as you can see, it has this part here. Yeah, this one is above the board and it's not touching it. There's a lot of air coming in here. Then, yeah, it can still spin. So now I'm gonna try and put the screws in, see if uh, it will still spin after that. Okay, so now done on putting them together, the heat sinks, uh, GPU, CPU, uh, this one, yeah, I kind of kind of allowed to move it a bit on the side, you can push it, but that's about what I can do. It can still spin, so it has no problems getting hit and then on the other side this one is the old fan which is also a bit struggling to spin this one spins a lot easier on the right since it's still new okay I'll put on the battery and then I'll put the power Okay, so power adapter, plug it in to the right. Okay, now I'm gonna try power it on first before I put the case. So hopefully it works. Okay, so this thing is pretty dusty. Okay, so I'm powering it on while it's still upside down. Uh, I can use some brush to remove it. Okay, now it's powered on. You can hear the fan over there. Oh, it died. Okay, it turned on again. Not sure if you guys can see it's uh, it's actually spinning. Alright, let's wait for it to boot up. I believe it's taking a while to load, but I think it's going. Hopefully it goes and doesn't shut down. All right, so it boots to Windows. It's still dusty here. This one is uh, just a paintbrush. So yeah, it boots up. Then the fan is crazy noisy right now. down okay so now I don't know if it's on sleep mode or something but uh, it is really spinning fast 
Later we'll try if the turbo is also working. So I'm gonna try to put this thing together while it's still working. Why? Because I want to do that. I want to put the case while it's running. So put back the case. I'll start from the right side. So start putting it here. Because this is where the USB ports are on the right. Not that loud anymore. So I can't really zoom out anymore. Sorry. Best I can do. Now this is a CD ROM. I'm pretty sure most of the laptops does not have it anymore. But I still have a DVD drive here on this laptop. This is a 2016 model. Alright. Okay, I'll just put the screws and then now we can test it, I guess. This is gonna be shaking. Okay, so this is the temperature 90, 94. Uh, this is CPU 87%, and uh, I'm playing Valorant. The FPS is around 150 to 200 FPS. The GPU is GTX 1660 But yeah, it is uh, playable So this is the specs of the laptop That is all for me I hope you enjoyed this video And as always, thank you for watching